What's up guys, Matt from How I Do It here. So the other day on the Facebook 3D printing group, um, somebody had a simple cover, looks like maybe a uh, SVG or vector graphic extruded into a cover for some for box. Um, they wanted to be able to do multiple colors by doing filament swaps at different layer heights and one of the areas on the box they wanted to be able to make it red and keep it separate from everything else and the way the model was designed they weren't able to do that in layer uh, filament changes at different layer heights so i offered up to uh, modify this stl for them so that they could do what they wanted to and the gentleman that I did it for offered to pay me. I told him, I said, look, I'm going to shoot a video for the YouTube channel. So I'll just, I'll do it for you for nothing. And I'll send you the link to the video so that hopefully maybe in the future, you can make your own changes, uh, use it as an educational tool. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to switch over here to, um, Autodesk mesh mixer. And we're going to import the model which happens to be called lid1.stl. Now this is an STL file. Ordinarily, if you had the sketches for the model, you could do this simply by um, modifying the sketch. But in this case, um, it's a clown cover for, a, I believe it goes on a box or something. Um, he did not have the original files to be able to make this change. And uh, he could have paid somebody to modify this for him, but I decided I'd uh, offer up my services to do it. So the part of this model that he wants to be able to do multiple extrusions on is the, the nose area here. Um, he wants to be able to do, I think, white for the face, black for these high edges, and he wanted red for the nose. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the select tool in Mesh Mixer. Right now, the size is really big. So let's dial that size down quite a bit. We don't need near as big of a size. And we are going to select the unwrap brush. And we're going to go in here in the nose. And you can see it's selecting the different polygons that are triangles that make up this area. So we're just gonna drag around here. We're gonna try to select everything without selecting that. Now, if you accidentally do select something, you can hold down control and click on it to deselect it. So like there again, I hit the side. If you hit control, we'll deselect it. And then we're going to come around here and you want to make sure you get all these. If you miss some, it can cause print failures if you have uh, some of these pieces missing. I got that one there. There's... So we're going to continue around here and we're going to select all these different areas. There we go one that we don't want so we'll hit control select that so now we have everything on that one flat face now this is extremely easy when it's just a single flat surface um, so we're going to go to edit under the select tool now and extrude we want to offset that a little bit but we don't want to go all the way up to the black so we're going to just change that to one millimeter offset and we're going to hit accept and it's that simple. So now you can see the nose is higher than the rest of it. So now we're going to go back to file. We're going to export. And we'll save this as fixed. Or let's call this raised nose 
dash ledge uh, lid sorry save it now if we go into simplify 3d remove that one that's import and we called it raised nose oh, where's that raised nose lid I'm gonna open it up so now in fusion 360 I'm sorry simplify 3d we can now use the multiple processes let's delete this stuff out of here okay so let's add a process uh, let's see we would say let's say 10% infill uh, solid top layers we'll do three bottom three and perimeter two we'll do a skirt and pretty standard settings nothing special for PLA okay so now this is where we want to use the variable settings wizard in simplify 3d so we'll adjust the layer heights right there looks good let's just see how close we can get to that 2.8 2.5 so it looks like if we go 2.6 in one collar we'll add that location then we'll continue So we were at 2.6, so this should be 3.6. We'll get us the nose, add location, split process. So now in Simplify 3D, if I print process one, we'll prepare to print it, hit OK. We get just, just about everything, um, and you can see the outline for the perimeters on the black part starting then we go to process 2 prepare to print hit OK and you can see here we've got everything up to the nose we'll go back to process 3 prepare to print and you can see here we have just the black parts so there you go it's that simple so it's that simple uh, Using Mesh Mixer to modify an STL file that you found on Thingiverse or Yagi or wherever, um, you can take Mesh Mixer and within just a few minutes, depending on the model, make an alteration to it so that that model specifically suits your needs. Um, now, I wanted to do this for the gentleman on Facebook to show him how easy it was, but also for you guys, my viewers, to see how simple it is to really do some of these changes and maybe make you a little bit more confident in going out and trying to do it yourself so there you go if you guys have any comments on the video or if maybe you have a recommendation on an even simpler way to do it um or if, if you want to post how you do it uh, let me know down in the comments below and i would definitely be interested to see how other people would accomplish the same task using an stl file and not having the original design file um, if you guys like what I'm doing, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up for this video if you like this video. If you want to see more of what I'm up to, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of new uploads and new videos, hit the ring the bell next to the subscribe button. So that's all for today, guys. I'm Matt, and this is how I do it.